Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to continue studying Mongoose and in this case we're going to learn how to query the database to get information instead of just creating. I wanted to start off here with the Mongoose documentation on promises. Now, by default Mongoose will return a promise whenever we create an item when, without passing a callback function. So this last one that we did and the one that I recommend you use all the time to create things will return an actual promise. However, whenever we are querying the data, queries are not promises. Mongoose queries will not return promises. You can use dot then, but if you need an actual promise, use dot execute first. And that's what we are going to do. That's what I'm going to recommend that you do is use dot exec first and that will return a promise. Probably the most simple way to query your data is to just do a model.find. So for in our case, car.find, this will find all of the cars in the database. And but what this is returning currently is one thing, the actual document. So we're going to do dot exec as it said, and that's going to execute our query returning a promise. And we want a promise. Dot then we're going to get that document, that found cars document. So dot then we have our function with found cars. And we can do a bunch of different stuff um, such as or really I'm just gonna just gonna console dot log dot log found cars and then dot catch because this is a true promise so that we do actually have um, the dot catch capability and that will be passed an error console.log error plus error so let's run this and see if it works there we go it got all of our cars one two three four of them What's cool is that this is an object, so we can do something like found cars zero dot year. So now we can access that like an object. 1984. And if you notice on the first one, the year is 1984. This is super useful for us because it allows us inside of our um, application to do a res.render. Um, like res.render comics passing in the um, found comics or something see how that works so we're querying the database and after we get a response back we are rendering a page passing in the data that we got from the database just like we used to do with that hard-coded data that's how we'll end up using that that's to get all of the cars. But let's say we wanted to get a specific car. Let's say we wanted um, the my celebrity, my old celebrity. Well, there's a bunch of different ways we could search for this. The simplest and easiest is just to search for the ID. So I'm going to get the ID. Copy that ID. And instead of car.find, we're going to do car.find by ID. And then you pass the ID in as a string. Then you execute again, and this time it's only going to return one car, found car. And we'll just log it. Let's cancel, and then open, run it again. There we go, it just found that one single car. Notice it does not return an array like this previous one. It returns just that object of that one single car. This is going to be really useful when we start to build what are called show pages where we show more information about a specific comic or a specific item. There's a lot more advanced ways to query the data, like you can search for things, um, there's a lot of different things you can do, but those are for different videos. Right now we just want to be able to add documents and retrieve documents, both all documents and di specific documents by ID. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.